Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical Diophantine equation. It is xy equal to 7 plus square root x square plus y square. We have to find out all integer solutions. So let's get started by writing our equation in this manner first. xy minus 7 equal to square root of x square plus y square. Now right hand side is always positive. Left hand side should be positive also. So conclusion is xy minus 7, it should be greater than 0. So xy product, it should be greater than 7. So we will apply this condition before writing our final answer. The product of x and y value, if it is greater than 7, then answer is accepted. Otherwise, extraneous solution would be there. Now I will consider our equation xy minus 7 equal to square root x square plus y square. Now consider squaring both sides. So it will become x square y square plus 49 minus 14xy equal to x square plus y square. Now I will use one manipulation step, I will add 2xy to both sides. So left hand side will become x square y square minus 12xy plus 49 equal to x plus y whole square. Now if you will observe this term, it is minus 2ab, so it is 6. So let me split our 49 in 36 plus 13. So x square y square minus 12xy plus 36 plus 13 equal to x plus y whole square. Now these three terms will provide us one perfect square. It is xy minus 6 whole square. You can check a square x square y square b square 36 2ab so minus 12xy plus 13 equal to x plus y whole square. Now I will use substitution. Let me write here xy minus 6 whole square plus 13 equal to x plus y whole square. Let us use substitution as xy equal to a and x plus y equal to b. So our equation will become a minus 6 whole square minus b square equal to minus 13. I took 13 to the right and this term to the left. Now a square minus b square difference of two squares formula. So we can write a minus 6 plus b in one bracket a minus 6 minus b in second bracket equal to minus 13. Write in proper way means a plus b minus 6 and a minus b minus 6 equal to minus 13. Now prime factorization will come into the picture. I can see 13 is prime number. So we can consider first bracket as minus 1 and second bracket as 13. Then I will be getting my product negative 13. Second factor we can consider minus 13 and 1. Third factor we will be consider 1 and minus 13. Fourth we can consider thir 13 and minus 1. So there are 4 actually cases. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we will consider one column means chart method. Let me derive here a plus b minus 6, a minus b minus 6. Then I will write a plus b, then I will write a minus b, then I will write a, then I will write b, then I will write quadratic equation. See how it will work. So combination let me write first. So minus 1 and 13. Second combination was minus 13 
and 1. Third combination was 1 and minus 13. And fourth combination was 13 and negative 1. Now, a plus b value from a plus b minus 6 value. So, what I will do? I will add 6 to this column to get this a plus b value. So, add 6. So, I will be having 5 minus 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. 6 minus 13 is minus 7. Then 7. Then 19. Now, come to a minus b value. You can see here a minus b minus 6. So, I have to add 6 to this column to collect a minus b value. So, I will add 13 plus 6, 19. 1 plus 6, 7. Minus 13 plus 6, minus 7. Minus 1 plus 6, 5. Now, I have to find out a. a is x, y. What is b? It is x plus y. Now, how I will get a directly. So, I need to add these two and divide by 2. a plus b, let me demonstrate, a is equal to a plus b plus a minus b divided by 2. And what is b? Take the difference a plus b minus a minus b. Difference of both the column by 2. So, once I will add both and divide by 2, then I will be having a. So, 5 plus 19, 24 over 2, 12. Second value, minus 7 plus 7, 0. 7 plus of minus 7, 0. 19 plus 5 over 2, 24 over 2, 12. Come to b. b, you will take away second column. Means, this using this formula, we will find out b value. So, 5 minus 19 over 2. So, minus 14 over 2, minus 7. Similarly, minus 7, minus 7 over 2. So, minus 14 over 2, minus 7. Then I will be having 7 minus of minus 7. So, 14 over 2, 7. And last value is 19 minus 5, 14 over 2. So, 7. Now, point is, how we will simplify now. See, x a is x y and b is x plus y. This column is sum of root. This column is product of root. So, let me write here quadratic equation. Sum of roots and product of roots are known. So, I will be writing t square plus 70 plus 12 equal to 0. First equation. Second equation, product this time is 0. So, t square, change this sign, plus 70 equal to 0. Product is 0. Third, we will be writing t square minus 70 equal to 0. Fourth equation in terms of quadratic, we will be writing t square minus sum of roots. So, I will write minus 70 plus 12 equal to 0. Now, just by observations, these two cases separately, these two, second and third case. If you will see, I will take t common. So, t, t plus 7. Let me write separately here. Let me write here. t square plus 70 plus 12 equal to 0. Second equation was t square plus 70 equal to 0. Third equation was t square minus 70 equal to 0. And fourth equation, fourth was t square minus 70 plus 12 equal to 0. So, what is t basically? t is the root of the equation. So, x, y is coming out. Final x, y value. So, from these two cases, if I will consider, I can easily reject how it is because of t will be equal to either 0 or minus 7. So, one value belongs to x as I have written already. t is either x or y. So, if this is x, this is y or this is y, this is x. In both the cases, x, y won't greater than 7 as per our requirement. So, we will reject both the cases as we are having 0 as one solution. Okay. So, we can reject these two cases. Only two cases are left. From first equation, we can write t 
प्लस थ्री फैक्टराइजेशन एंड टी प्लस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम फोर्थ इक्वेशन वी कैन राइट इट इज टी माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर टी सो आई विल बी राइटिंग टी माइनस थ्री लेट मी राइट हेयर माइनस फोर टी प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो टेक टी कॉमन सो इट विल बी इन द ब्रैकेट टी माइनस थ्री टेक माइनस फोर कॉमन टी माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो सो इट विल बिकम टी माइनस थ्री एंड इट विल बी टी माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो सो फाइनल वैल्यूज ऑफ टी हेयर थ्री एंड फोर Now what is t? So x y value it is. One value is x, another value is y. From first equation also, I can write t is equal to minus three and minus four. Now one value is x, another value is y. So I can write here x comma y minus three minus four and minus four minus three. Similarly, in this case, I can write x comma y equal to three comma four and four comma three. Both will hold true. So this is our ultimate solution. Let me write here once: x y belongs to first value three comma four, four comma three. Then second value, both value is negative, minus three, minus four, and minus four, minus three. Now you can check as per your inequality, domain inequality, x y must be greater than seven. So if you will check, x y here is twelve, and twelve is greater than seven. So all four values are true values. I hope this video will be. meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care